It's obvious and it's in literature that the parity increases, the reproductive performance of pigs will increase. But at what point will the decline set in? Most farms will remove animals after parity five. In fact, the average parity structure in the United States is that most pigs are removed between parity three and parity five. What we are wrestling with is that there are higher parity cells. Although there's a decline in performance judged by litter size, but those higher parity cells are actually very useful as foster moms. We use them extensively to foster pigs, piglets. So what is the ideal parity structure in a farm? We don't have a correct answer. If you look at this slide, straw 1984 gave this parity structure. If you have our 100 pigs, 100 sows, 20% of your sow population should be parity zero. That is just guilt. 18% should be parity 1, 17% should be parity, parity 2, on until you get to parity 5. They don't want any sows below parity 6. Others have laid out other parity structures. So the best view, our problem is to go into a farm and find out what is your parity structure? What makes you maintain this typical parity structure? But before you could do that, we wanted to find out what is the role of parity in reproductive performance. So we, in the Swine Barn at Auburn University, we collected data of 103 cells that were bred between 2016 to 2017. So the breeding process was that some were partially artificial insemination, some were natural breeding. For the purpose of this, Study. Everything after parity 8 is just included as parity 8 plus. There were animals in parity 11, parity 12, we just said parity 8 plus. So we looked at the role of parity on winter estrus interval, parrying rate, number born alive. We collected bath fat and body condition scars. So these were like pictures of some of the south post fiery data was analyzed as listed. So the results. So table two shows a generic result, irrespective of parity. Firing rate, 83.7 until you get the post winning weight. This is irrespective of parity. This is just the basic reproductive performance on the farm. Now, what is the role of parity? As you will see from these graphics, from parity one to parity eight plus, total number of piglets born started low in parity one, maxed at parity three, and started declining until you get to parity 10, parity 8 plus. We're moving from 12 piglets born to 10 piglets born. Piglets born alive almost follow the same trend. We marked at parity 4 and the decline started after parity 4. Number one. I mean, again, followed the same, but that's a small blip in this. By parity seven, they are probably winning as much as in parity nine. We put this down as because of the experience of higher parity animals. They are matching the parity records of parity three and four animals. So. Now, what is the effect of parity on our reproductive performance? But firing rate versus parity. Was not, there was no significant effect of firing rate versus parity. Number born alive was highly significant. Number, number born 
was not the air was not was significant. Number wind was not significant down the line. So what is our conclusion? Our study showed that soil level and pump level risk of factors struggle for suboptimal product performance. The soil level factors include both ordinary factors and performance factors. Ordinary factors include low or high parity, high summer temperature, decreased lactation feed intake, and increased lactation length. These are factors that critically affect reproductive performance. The performance factor, however, include prolonged winter estrus interval. Technically, you should expect the winter estrus interval to be six to 10 days. But in most cases, some of them get prolonged after 12 days. Do you still breed the animal or do you wait until the animal comes back? Being less born alive, light bed weight, low prey winning growth, all those things are factors that affect. <coughs> there are limitations to do, using this kind of work. For example, in using commercial data to do performance evaluation on reproductive performance, you probably don't have a handle on the genotype of the animals. You don't have a handle on the nutrition and management. Except in very controlled studies, you can design an experiment to take care of genotype, take care of nutrition, take care of other management issues. And most commercial data you use, except you recorded the data yourself, will be recorded incorrectly. So, we are suggesting that if you are going to use performance data, there are big based performance data you can pull from. But just make sure this data were really accurately in all. So for the urban swine band, the facility is where we do this work. What is the role of this preliminary study so far? We hope that this will help them fine-tune reproduction and help them establish a parity structure that will actually have more higher parity animals, not too high parity animals, but like medium parity animals from three to five. So that like 80% of the animals should be in parity three and five. 10% should be above parity 7 and 8. Only 10% should be parity 1 and above. Thank you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Open to questions. Put me out of my misery. <laughs> <laughs>